Hello again, everyone, and welcome back. This is Craig Peters here from Sound Iron, and in today's walkthrough, we're going to be checking out our newly upgraded Grit Kit. So this library is a fully playable, all-around basic jazz kit, but we did some special things to it to make it unique. We took these recordings, we mangled them, destroyed them, blew them out, threw some distortion on them, and all kinds of different innovative sound design techniques to give you 15 special effects drum kits as well. For this upgrade, we also gave it a complete user interface overhaul. It's got a mixer as well as a remapper page. We also have some solo kits as well as some new ambiences and custom effects presets that we created for this library. So let's dive in and start checking it all out. All right, so we got the new and improved grit kit loaded up. So some of the things you're going to notice, like I said, there's a lot of stuff that we added to this upgrade. You got the advanced tab up here, which has a filter, an ARP, as well as the remapper. And here you can select through the different kits as well if you want to do that. Then let's go ahead and close this and you'll have all your different sound shaping controls at the bottom. And then you have your different selection of your drums here. So one of the things that's really cool about this remapper, and you've seen this in David Oliver drum kit, as well as knockout drums and some other drum libraries that utilize this user interface. If we open this up, this will already be enabled. So if you're playing through the different kit pieces, you'll see that it will select the different drums. So, if you have your snare and you want to do some panning here, you can do this or you can do it in the mixer. Uh, we'll get back to that in a little bit. But this is a cool way to just see where the different kit pieces are and how they are laid out in the remapper. So if we keep going up, you'll see the different kit pieces that you have. So for this drum kit, we recorded it in stereo. So you have that option. It's just a really nice all around basic jazz kit. So let's go through some of these presets and give you an idea of how some of these mangled special effects drum kits sound. So a little bit more of that gritty industrial kind of sound. Let's have a listen to this other one. It's called Corkscrew. So the useful thing about these presets and how they're mapped and laid out is that they're all mapped the same way. So if you program a basic drum groove using the jazz kit and you want to switch it up, make it a little bit more interesting and use some of these sound design kits, you can just change the preset and all the mapping will stay the same. So you can easily flip through and get some different ideas if you're wanting to get a little bit more experimental in your drum programming. So now let's play through a few more. Let's have a listen to this one called Strung Out. So you can see we're really getting further away from the real natural sound of these drums, which is really cool because you can take these different drums and have these already sound design kits and get a little bit more inspiration from something that just doesn't necessarily sound like a straightforward drum kit. And we got this preset called Punch Out, which has this really blown out and distorted sound. This next preset is called Rubberneck and it's got a little bit of that glitch hero kind of sound when you hear some of those real glitchy sort of drum hits. The next thing I want to show you is the new mixer. And this is very similar to the David Oliver drum kit and knockout drums. And this is really great because you have a lot more control over how the drums are routed. You can route them in your DAW and you can have them on their own individual track. So if you're doing any mixing on your own, you can do that. You can also mix using the different effects in this library as well. So if you, let's say, click your kick 
and here's your microphone so you got the one microphone option you can turn this on off you can flip the phase if you want or adjust the volume and then you can also add some effects so if you turn this on and then you have these different effects that you're choosing so if you want to add an eq and then go over here maybe you want to add a compressor just make sure you have this turned on and that way you can shape these drums however you want in the library or you can mix them using your own plugins by just routing them out in your DAW by doing it right here. So under each channel, you'll select the different routing here. You also have some other controls up top. You have pan, send, and width. So this is our snare right here. If you want to add a little bit of width to this, you would do this right here. Or you can increase the send amount and this feeds over here to this area. So if you turn this on, you want to have a reverb and send this to the reverb. Or if you want to take this entire kit and run it through a reverb, you can do that here by just increasing the send on the far right. And then you also have delay. So if you click this, you'll see the different options. So if you want a modern or an analog or a tape style, delay, or you can also do this for the reverb too. If you want to change it to algorithmic or convolution or a plate, you can do that here. And then if you want to add a little delay, you can do that. So you can see it's got a little bit of that stereo on there. So with this new grit kit upgrade, you're going to have the grit kit NKI, which I just showed you. It's got the mixer, the remapper, and a few different advanced tab features and then you're also going to have a folder for solo kits which has 15 special effects sound design drum kits as well as the acoustic drum kit and with these the ui is a little different it's got four layers you have the layers one and two which have the full kits or you can choose the individual ones and do a little bit more sound shaping controls if you want to experiment and sound design these a little bit and then you also have these two layers for ambicent we made some new sound design ambiences for this library in this upgrade so I'll play for you some of these now so you can get a little bit of an idea of how you can take some of these special effects kits and add some ambiences to them. So let's just have a listen to the ambiences now. And since there's two ambient layers, you can combine these different ambiences together and use the X fade to get some really unique and interesting movement with these ambiences. So I have these loaded up and all you have to do is click the layer that you want, assign it to layer A or layer B, which is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to learn this to my mod wheel and then play a single note and then evolve into the next layer. So now we're completely in Ambisynth 2.
And then in the effects rack, you can add some extra effects on top of these ambiences to shape the sound and get a little bit more sound designy with it if you want. So you have these two different racks right here, and then all you have to do is click this drop down and you'll see all the different effects that are available to you. So if you want to add like a rotator, you can do that. You just gotta load it and turn it on. So you can see it's adding that cool rotating effect between the speakers and the stereo field. And then if you want to add some more on top of that, let's add a delay. You'll see you have some different types here. Let's choose a vintage, turn this on. I'm going to set this to sync and then I'm going to enable ping pong because I want to add to that stereo field. And then you also have some different choices of reverb. So you have convolution, algorithmic, and play like you saw in the other NKI, but you have it a little bit differently here. It's in the effects rack. So you can do some cool stuff too if you want to take the size, learn this to your mod wheel. And this is really interesting. So when you're playing around with this, you get some really cool wavering kind of pitch tones as you're playing at the same time. Alright, so heading back over to the performance page, I want to show you some other cool stuff you can do since you have some different drum content and ambient content together. You can get some really interesting stuff going on with some rhythmic things going on, with some ambient stuff on top. So if you're doing any kind of dramatic scoring and you want to really build some tension, you can do it very easily. So on layer one, I have a kick selected and then over here where the pitch wheel is, you'll see this little drop down for tuned and untuned. And I set this to untuned because I want to have the same kick sound across the key range. So whether I'm playing up here or down here, that kick's not gonna be pitched. So if it was tuned, then it would be really high pitched up here and low down here. So for this, that's not what I want. And then I have the arpeggiator on here and I just have a couple hits going on and just letting it do its thing. And then since I have the different ambiences layered with the X fade, I can bring in some different ambiences as well as have that kick going on the entire time because since layer one is selected, I have this set to none. So it's not gonna be affected by the X fade and always be playing continuously. So if we start from the bottom. So before we go ahead and wrap up this walkthrough, I want to play for you some of the custom effects presets that we made for this upgrade as well. There's 20 to choose from, and these all utilize the different features and sounds of the library. So let's have a listen to some of these.
Alright, so that about wraps up this walkthrough for the new Grit Kit 2.0 upgrade. If you want to learn more about this library or check out some demos to hear it in action, make sure to go to soundiron.com. Please subscribe to stay up to date on future videos like these. And until next time, thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. See ya.